um, the Mitsubishi Gallant, um, Mitsubishi, the, the first generation um, GDI Mitsubishi engine. Mitsubishi engines are some very strong engines. You just have to know how to maintain it. A GDI Mitsubishi engine, um, the first problem you will run into when you go to an auto mechanic is that the first thing they always tell you that this pump gives a lot of problem. The GDI high pressure, the high pressure fluid pump give problems. What happens is that when you have a GDI Mitsubishi and you're driving it, and if you're not maintaining it the way it should, because some people think when you when you have a GDI engine, you think that changing the oil is all there to it and um, changing spark plug, etc. That's all to it. GDI, the the, the first generation Mitsubishi GDI. It's not good to drive within city limit on a regular basis. When you drive it in a city limit in traffic, it develop a lot of carbon deposit within the cylinder head, the intake side of the cylinder head. So you find that the engine get a little slower and slower and slower and slower because of that carbon deposit heavy carbon deposits and it will reach the point where the engine just don't start sometimes just shut down and you just don't start and when you take it to if you take it to the wrong auto mechanic the first thing that they're going to tell you that this pump is the culprit that's what they're going to tell you this pump Before you do anything to your Mitsubishi Galant or your Mitsubishi GDI engine, always get an opinion from more than one auto mechanic and make sure they know what they're doing and know what they're saying about the engine. Nine out of ten times, what really happened to a GDI engine is that the carbon deposit um, suffocate the engine so the engine gets slower and slower until eventually the system just shut down this pump is a mechanical pump it is not an electrical pump it is a mechanical pump and this pump does give the problem that most people or most mechanic taught so they will have you buying this pump. Cost a lot of money. In Jamaica, it's a hard pump to source. Not an easy pump to get. And when you get one, it is so expensive. You could buy a damn engine. All right? But the truth is that when you buy this pump, the problem still ain't diagnosed because it still have the same problem. Then they're going to tell you, maybe it's the coil pack. The coil pack need to change. The coil pack need to this. The coil pack need to that. And they're going to tell you about the high pressure regulator. Um, that is also a problem and that's got to change. They're going to come with so many different kind of, because most mechanic, when they heard about GDI, they got this myth. They got these theories. They got all these um preconception that they have about this engine that other people had said and they don't know themselves because they're not an experienced um, GDI mechanic. They don't, some of them don't know nothing about GDI, just only what they heard, the myths that they heard about GDI. But GDI engine is a very good engine. It is like a kind of um, environmentally friendly engine. It was designed um, to meet the emission requirement, you know what I mean? So it's a less polluted engine, you know? But is that the GDI engine was basically 
made for high performance, if you ask me. Because as anyone know about Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi engine is made for supercharging and, you know, all these other, it, it can take so much um, charge to it. So it's a very good engine, very strong engine. It's just that you have to know how to maintain your engine. And once you properly maintain the GDI engine, it would last you, you know, it's, it would last you. So my suggestion to you when you have when you see the engine start getting slower and slower the first thing you think about is the carbon buildup in the engine you know had you ever clean your engine the engine itself they, they take the cylinder head off and kill. i i believe that the first thing you should have done to your engine before you buy this before you buy this before you pay all these money um, to auto mechanic that don't have the experience or know anything about the GDI engine, I think the, the, the first and the best thing you should have done or you should do too, is take the intake manifold off and get it clean properly. It can be clean. You know, it have carbon buildup inside of it also. Clean it, the intake manifold. Take the cylinder head off. And I will always recommend that whenever time you take your cylinder head off, just buy a, a new head gasket because it's, it's, it's inexpensive. So just buy a new head, head gasket. Now, when you take the cylinder head off, you will notice that the pistons might have carbon buildup on top of it. Clean it. Just, just have that clean right through and done. You know what I mean? Um, the intake part of the cylinder head, the intake valves and stuff like that is the, is the major problem that's where you need to clean. You need to clean all those carbon deposits because you're going to find that there are valves that not, that it's not closing properly. And probably there are valves that are not even opening properly, you know, uh, because of the carbon um, deposit and build up that prevent it so that suffocate the engine a lot you know what I mean so um, the computer will automatically shut the engine down sometime and if you continue to try to play around it you can damage the computer for the engine you know what I mean so just take the head off and I would say buy um, the valve stem seal just buy that once you take the head off buy valve stem seal it's, it's inexpensive also and just change out all those clean the valve them properly make sure it is properly seated clean the intake part especially of the cylinder head clean it thoroughly make sure it is clean um you wash it with your um the solution that needed to wash it bring it all the way back to that manufacturer spec just clean it that's all you have to do. clean it up get all of carbon deposit um, the valves they clean them properly all the intakes valves and make sure that they close in properly uh, and and like I said change the valve seals and once you change the valve seals and do all the cleaning to the cylinder head and the, the, the top of the pistons and you change that that um that that head gasket when you reassemble that vehicle, it's going to drive like new. You'll be surprised. So the money that you would use to buy this and to buy a set of these or whatever amount they tell you to buy, these are the genuine, so they're going to be expensive. And when you buy those plus the labor costs, and then the engine still hasn't been diagnosed properly because the car still can't start and you still get nowhere because they let you spend all these the money by all these things that you never needed in the first place. You'll be surprised. You spend less money, way less money, to just clean the cylinder head 
intake part of the cylinder head mainly. You clean it. Clean the valves. Change all the valve seals. It don't make no sense to just change the intake valve seals if, you, if, you, if you're going to go at it. Just change the whole complete valve seal. Valve, the valve stem. Just change them. Let's change all of them and done. You know what I mean? Let's put a complete new set in it. And reassemble about that vehicle. That engine. And like I said, the intake manifold, you can clean. What I do with the intake manifold, I usually get the degreaser and I put it in there and I let it sit for a while and then I shake it around. And you'll be surprised to know what come out of it. And I use like an old toothbrush and I will clean the inside part and the, where the muck set, I will clean it and all that stuff. I just clean up everything. And then I clean it. When I finish cleaning up, you reassemble the whole thing. And when you reassemble it, you start that vehicle. You'll be surprised to know, you know, that vehicle sound like new. So always make sure the mechanic that's going to work on your GDI engine is competent enough. And know about GDI engine before because... This is a mechanical pump, and they rarely give problem, if you know. They carry filters. They have some filters inside it that you can actually, it's, cha it's changeable. Or uh, you can, if you know how to take it out and clean it, you know what I mean? You can. But the truth is, these, these things doesn't give the problem that most mechanic in Jamaica associated have given. It's a mechanical pump. It's mechanical, you know, so this is the part that um, is driven by the camshaft from the cylinder head. And that's what developed the pressure, pump it, you know, so you always have to, it's a, it's have a cylinder inside of it that you know pump you know to develop the pressure to pressurize for um the gas to go to wherever it's supposed to to the um the injectors and stuff like that and this is a beautiful pump this is a great pump and you know mechanical pump don't fail you that easily so before you jump and go spend all that money to buy this pump think about the carbon deposit of the engine that's the problem with most if not all gdi engine the first generation mitsubishi gdi engine that's the problem all right but gdi engine is a good engine very strong engine um it's like an environmentally friendly engine uh, it's less polluted etc so like i said don't let the auto mechanic tell you the first thing they look at it and once they say gdi they say oh it's the pump the pump is a problem when you buy the pump nothing then they say oh you gotta change you gotta change um the coil packs because see what happened now. Car packs not firing properly. For them. You know what I mean? So that's the problem then. When, when you buy the coil pack. They go say probably you need an um, electrician. So you see how much money that's going to cost you. They probably need an electrician. Then they're going to tell you that you got to get um, the O2 sensor. You know what I mean? So all these things they're going to tell you. So you got to always prepare yourself for this. They're going to tell you all of these things. And the, tr the fact of the matter is, nothing that they told you, the car actually needed. Just take the cylinder head. Remove the cylinder. Get the cylinder head removed from the vehicle. Clean up the intake manifold and remove all the carbon buildup. Clean up the cylinder head. The, the, most, the intake part of the cylinder head is where you're going to focus the most then because that's where all the carbon buildups at make sure you get all those valves out clean them up seat them back properly make sure they're seated properly and change the valve stem seal just change them all of them 
both intake and exhaust. Just change them all. And while you're at it, make sure you change. That's a recommendation I always give. Make sure you change the head gasket since it's there already. Just change the head gasket. That's a good thing to do. And that car will drive like new again. All right? So just do that and you'll be good.